Base Layer's inception in the fall of 2011 was driven by data center operators who engineered modular infrastructure to increase their own efficiency and profitability. The backwards compatible nature of each design generation allowed for the development of software to control the modules from a central location. Over the next 10 years, customer demands pushed each design evolution as over 200 megawatts were deployed in every climate imaginable. An explosion in demand caused by the Internet of Things. Businesses shifting data center workloads from local hard drives to cloud-based systems created a deployment timeline crisis. Suddenly, the two to five year procurement cycle needed to happen in 90 days. Baselayer was born with a vision of Lego style modular elements that could snap together, allowing for the first time ever, customers to be able to create their own design deployments in the most demanding locations. Today, increasing network speed technology and big data demands have shifted priority, which had always been uptime, to latency. If your application takes too long to load, it's considered down. Have you considered your latency budget? How many milliseconds can your application wait to load before it's considered offline? To increase speed, you must reduce the distance needed to travel. Engineered by operators, Standardized base layer modules controlled by software deploy data center capacity seven cabinets at a time at the last mile needed to travel to the end user, typically located in the footprint of the local power station. That moment when power meets data is the base layer of your technology. If slow is the new down, where does your base layer need to be?